Hey everyone, Sunny Chardet here. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe for more mukbang, cookbang, and vlogs. And check out my Instagram if you want to see my daily eats. Today, I really wanted to try these three other flavors of the Indomie instant noodles. This is the one that I've already tried. It's just the mi goreng fried noodles, but I'm gonna eat those first and then sort of compare the rest to it because I haven't had these before. We've got the barbecue chicken flavor, the satay flavor. I hope I'm saying that right, satay. You'll let me know in the comments below, right? I know some of you out there know how to pronounce this correctly. And then rendang beef flavor, spicy beef. So I'm saving the spicy one for last since I don't want it to muck up the other flavors. And as a palate cleanser, I just have the um, ginger for sushi. So I'll eat those in between. And then I have some boiled eggs here to eat with it. I just don't like to eat um, noodles just plain by itself. I have to at least have like an egg or I don't know, spam or whatever. Okay, let's get started. So for these regular fried noodles, we have the sambal chili sauce. This is soya sauce. And what is this? Minyak bumbu seasoning oil. Just gonna cut all of them. One of the reasons why I like Indomie is that they have these different satchels of seasoning. I don't know. It just makes me feel, makes it feel fancy or something. And then fried onion. And this just says boom boo seasoning. Mmm. This is already smelling good. Okay. So I'm just mixing it up first. Oh, hi. Hi, baby. Mmm. All right, this is just the regular one. I'm telling you, I feel like more instant noodle companies need to have like different uh, packets of seasoning, not just like one packet of just some powder, you know? Ugh. And it just hits you, like it hits you all at different times. Mm. There's this like little um, little bit of spice at the very end after you eat it. <laughs> Ooh, I soft boiled these. Yum. Mmm. So good. <clears throat> mm. And it's got those crunchy bits. Mm.
delicious. Maybe it's just me, but let me know in the comments below. Can you eat just one packet of Indomie? Like I need two at the very least. I feel like these noodles are like so small. It's probably the right serving, but I'm just like being a fatty. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. I cleaned off my chopsticks, got a new bowl, and we're gonna try the barbecue chicken flavor. So it looks like it has the same seasoning oil, soya sauce, and then the sambal chili sauce. But then maybe, maybe the seasoning is different because it still has fried onions. Oh, hmm, that does smell like barbecue. So maybe it's the seasoning packet that's different. Mmm, yes, yes. There is barbecue. Um, there is barbecue smell. So I hope the taste comes through. So I had tried the curry version of fire noodles. If you haven't seen that video yet, and there was like a little bit of curry flavor, but I got more of the smell than just like the flavor that I wanted. But I think I just really, really like curry. Like when I make curry, I put a lot. I put a lot of the little blocks or the powder. Okay, this looks good. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. I was worried it would be um, pretty much the same like the original fried noodles, but no, no, it's definitely, definitely got that barbecue flavor. Not like, I guess not like Texan barbecue. <laughs> like Asian barbecue is a little bit different to me. At least I know Filipino barbecue is, is different than um, Texan one. Mmm. actually a lot of barbecue You know, I think I like the original better so far. This has the barbecue flavor, but I don't know. Like I could do without it. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you really like barbecue, then this would be good. I just feel like it doesn't have that same power of the different flavors in the original. This one is just kind of like barbecue, but it's still good, you know. Okay. All right, time for the satay flavor. So, is it the same? <laughs> Seasoning oil, soya, and the fried onions are in this packet. And then chili, I guess this is, this is just chili flakes, and then bumbu sauce. So it is a little bit different. There's no, um, sambal. Hmm, the seasoning oil looks a bit different too. Like it's a bit darker. Ah, yeah, just straight up chili flakes this time. Cool. 
Ooh, and this mixture is a little thicker too. Okay, it says here that turmeric is a necessary ingredient to marinate saute. That's why it has the yellow color. Okay, cool. I feel like there's something else, there's some other flavor that I've had before. I don't know, what could it be? Were there peanuts in the other ones? Let me see. Uh, maybe it is the peanut. <laughs> it says that there's peanut in here, but this one's really good. Definitely different than the original. I guess that would make sense because when I had those uh, chicken saute skewers, I'm sorry. Every time I say that, I know I'm like butchering it, but it did come with some peanut sauce. Oops. Mmm. really good and to me it's a little bit spicier than the original one too I think maybe it's because it's the actual uh, chili flakes I was trying to find that noodle. <laughs> I definitely liked that one better than the barbecue chicken, <laughs> for sure. Hmm. Okay, the rendang, rendang. Huh. Okay, so for the spicy beef flavor, so I wonder if it's gonna be spicier than the other ones. Like each one had a little kick of the chili. The barbecue one, not so much, at least to me, it was just more barbecue than anything. But this one only has two packets, the seasoning oil and the soya sauce. Chili and boom boo sauce. I wonder then if there's more of the spice in the seasoning oil. Ooh! That is fragrant, like off the bat. It does have a more meatier smell. <laughs> That's like the only way I can describe it. It just has a lot of, I don't know, oomph power to it. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and start eating it. There's still some 
uh, chunks of the paste that I just can't get mixed in for some reason. But this looks, this looks good. I gotta think about this one a bit. It doesn't seem any spicier than the other ones. What is that taste? <laughs> Sorry, let me check. Okay, it is the star anise. <laughs> I was, that is the extra flavor that's just was throwing me off. I checked the other packets and it doesn't have that in them. So it's only this one and it also has cloves too. That's different. I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I like star anise, but I think, I don't know, it might be too much. Let me, let me try it again. Mm, I don't know guys <laughs> I would put this one like at the bottom so <laughs> I actually don't want any more of it <laughs> that's so bad Ugh. I don't like it <laughs> that's it of this one I just I can't do it like it's not disgusting to me I just meh I've already had like really good flavors and then up until this one, I'm just kind of like, oh really? I was kind of disappointed, but if you like cloves or the star anise flavor, I'm sure you'll really like this one. I guess that's what they're trying to get with the beef flavor, but it is a little bit spicier to me. I can feel like a little bit of stinging in my lips and my tongue, or maybe it's just the buildup of all of the packets that I've had so far, but I would say, I still, I still gotta go with the original fried noodles. Just, you can't go wrong with that. And then I would do the satay flavor. That one was really, really good. And I also like turmeric too, so that may be why. And then the barbecue chicken. And then this, the rendang. I don't know, if that's how you say that. But uh, the beef flavor. And I would probably buy the satay again, but the other two, I'll probably pass. Anyway, that's it for this mukbang. I hope you all enjoyed it or at least found it useful if you're interested in the other flavors. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite flavor is. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more mukbang and cookbangs. I will see everyone next time. Bye!